What's going on everyone, RJ here. And in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and cover a Green Day recap on ticker symbols LCID and BLNK. Right at open, both these stocks were very, very strong on the long side. So I did see a sell-off on LCID towards the view app and was quickly bought right back up with massive volume. So as it approached the market open price, I went ahead and punched it. Uh, didn't like the price action, so I kind of sold it for break even. And then on the second candle, saw that it dipped a little bit and was immediately bought back up. So I went ahead and purchased right at the previous candle close. And I went ahead and rocketed all the way to the long side. Same thing with BLNK. BLNK offered a much better trade in terms of what I normally like to look for in terms of indicators. But I was in the middle of a trade on LSID before I had noticed BLNK going to the upside. And so after I was done with the LSID trade, I traded BLNK. Same thing, I kind of chased it, didn't like it, so I, uh, I kind of stopped myself out and then monitored the price action on the next candle. Liked it, punched it, I did get a little bit of slippage and so I purchased at a much higher price than what I wanted to, but it was really, really strong and continued its momentum upwards. So today I'm finishing close to about 7R, which is again my risk to reward. So normally I risk two to one or three to one on every trade and today I finished seven times above my risk. Before we dive into the actual analysis of the trade, if you guys haven't already, please consider smashing that like button for the almighty YouTube algorithm. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you guys are notified every single time I upload new content. So with that being said, let's dive right on in and go over the trade. A look at my trade recaps for this morning. I just went ahead and took screenshots and kind of put arrows and circles and squares over volume and you know my entries and exits and what exactly I was looking for. So at market open, my eyes were on LCID and then BLNK caught my eye a little later after I had finished my trade over here on LCID. And so I like to trade momentum and opening range breakups, which is a strategy from Andrew Aziz over on Bearable Traders. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check them out. But let's talk about LSID on market open. So at market open, it looks like it went ahead and sold off and it did test and touch VWAP here, which is this fusion line. And once it touched VWAP, it went ahead and got bought up so aggressively and quickly. And the moment it got bought up, it was followed by this massive volume and this is a very bad trade for me because I definitely chased as it was on its way up. So what I did was I entered and then kind of just stopped at break even. I, it was for a small loss really. So I waited on the second candle to see if it was going to break this range here. And so it went and got pulled back almost to the 20 EMA which is this white gray line right here. And then as it got bought back up with volume, I went ahead and entered close to the previous candles close. And so it was for almost the break of $44. And as it got, uh, as I entered at the break of $44, we got this very nice follow through. So I took my first partial at about 20 cents and then took the rest of it off at about 60 cents here. So this was an awesome, awesome move in terms of LCID. And then obviously, you know, after that, we saw this site, this candle for people taking profits and selling off. And so after I had taken this trade, I did see BLNK on the left side doing the exact same thing. So if we take a look at the price action on BLNK, at first at market open, it sold off heavily. It sold off, it went. It looked like it went to VWAP, which again is this fusion line, and then it sold off, but it was followed immediately by this engulfing green candle. And then after the green candle, uh, the second candle dropped all the way to VWAP, bounced back up, got eaten up, and then I would have taken this entry right here. Same exact thing I did here. You know, after uh, a pullback, I will take an entry close to the previous candle's close. But again, here on the three minute candle, I was still over here, my eyes were still on LCID. So I missed this and I took a chase right here and got stopped out for about 10, 15 cents. And then I, I stayed patient. I took a look at the next candle and as it pulled back, the, it did uh, the 20 EMA and the 9 EMA did this crossover and so it was immediately very very fast up so I wanted to take an entry right here uh, at about 35 I want to say 3570 but as I punched it I did get some slippage and I didn't fill until closer to about $36 which was okay it was okay so I, I took a, a slippage there of about almost 10 10 to 15 cents. And so here at 35.93 for the break of 36, it popped 
and I sold right here at about 36, I want to say 36.10, and then um, this thing was moving super fast, so I sold the rest of it off over here on 36.40. So this was uh, about a nice 40 cent move, which ended the day for me about uh, just shy of 7R, which is my risk to reward. So the things I wanted to highlight is you have to make sure you guys eyeball the, the volume. Make sure there is a lot of volume coming in because that is when we can snipe our way in and out of positions. We want to always move with the market, never against it because that's how big money moves the market and we don't have enough money to move the market. So we just kind of want to do guerrilla warfare style tactics just like Andrew Z says in his books. We go in, we ride it, and then we kind of sell off as the market kind of gives us profits. And so if LSID had this nice move momentum up, we just ride it up. Same thing with BLNK with this nice engulfing pattern. Uh, we just ride the move up and take profits as we go. So I hope you guys really did enjoy that video. Again, you know, very, very strong open to uh, BLNK and LSID. Very, very good start to the week. You know, Mondays and Fridays are normally important for me in terms of my trading psychology, especially on Mondays because it gives me the momentum to continue trading green with confidence. And sometimes, you know, I do suffer from performance anxiety where if I finish my Monday red, then all of a sudden I'm scared to, tra to take other trades even though the setup looks good. So I hope you guys really did enjoy that video and you found yourselves learning something new. If you did, please smashy smashy that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you guys are notified every single time I upload new content. Also, follow me on my other social media platforms here. It is just at RJ Ardanas. If you guys are interested in joining my fan house where I do post every single day exclusive content on anything financial freedom related, especially day trading, I will leave a link in the description below with a promo code FLIGHTDECK2021 which will give you one full month free to test drive the platform itself. With that being said, if you guys have any other questions, just please post them in the comments section below. Life is too freaking short, so eat some delicious food, drink some delicious drinks, do some good in the world, spread some positive vibes, and I'm gonna see everyone on the next day trading video next time.